All right, well. Love uh, is what we got. It, no love. Welcome, everyone. Uh, this is Tar and Feathered. Uh, I'm Tyler with Robert. Um, are you going to play in the background as I, as I speak? Why not? <laughs> um, and uh, this is going to be the first episode in a very long time uh, because I've been away. Um, doing things, but now that I'm back, and I think we can uh, continue doing this on a fairly uh, semi-regular basis, almost, you know, what, every few days, something like that. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to, to talk about, because we kind of just uh, started this, got the camera well, going as well. Um, I, do, I, do, I feel a little awkward, just because I don't, we're, we're, again, we're still in that pre-stage of... Um, before getting like the actual topics that we're going to discuss or whatever, and we're kind of just figuring out. Well, me especially, I'm I'm really much uh, trying to figure out what uh, kind um, of video software I really want to use, along with uh, getting another camera and everything, and making sure to do the uh, the mixing correctly. So it's still in I would say pre-production, but I think. In, in the coming days, I'll be able to finalize everything. But in the meantime, uh, I would like to start getting into what I want and what I think uh, you want to be the uh, overall idea of the podcast, which is we discuss specific topics and uh, we go through... Usually of a current political nature. Yep. Like... Today, the thick otter. What if I say I'm not a thick otter? At the very beginning, we can play music, and at the very end, we play music. But I don't want to play music during during it. I I can't not. I need something to do with my hands. Masturbate. <laughs> I think that'll get us pulled from YouTube. I, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it would actually. But you're gonna need to. Hey, I'll tone thirty it. minutes. I'll tone it down, but sometimes. I need to make political puns. How, what, what do you mean by that? Like, I'm not a thick otter. Never seen that meme making fun of Dave Grohl, how he says that song? What if I say I'm not like the otters? <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen that? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, can, I can see it later. But uh, I want to get back to what you were saying earlier about, about the otter thing, because I, I feel like most people are going to be... A-A-V-E. African-American vernacular English. Br- pretend like you're talking to someone that has no idea what, what, what it is well, that is happening. So there is a chunky otter <laughs> that got famous from a Twitter post by its handler. And it was using a bunch of meme kind of format things, little internet sayings, like she thick, she chonk, with a space in between each letter to emphasize how chonk, not chunk, chonk, she is. Was she an absolute unit? She was an absolute unit. That's some, that's some language that came at us from across the pond, mm-hmm. started with the English and what, what, was the, uh, what was the criticism of this? Well, such terms are apparently appropriating African-American culture. And at the same time, since these terms usually apply to African-American women, mm-hmm. when you are using that with an animal, you are comparing a black woman to an animal. Really? So, so when I say this, uh, this otter is large... It's, uh, That's perfectly fine. Okay, if I call them um, fat, is that fine? That's also fine. What if I say she's, you know, thick? You crossed the line, buddy. Hey, you goddamn fucker! <laughs> you crossed the fucking line! <clears throat> Insert Alex Jones. Yeah. Um, That's, that is a term within AAVE, African American Vernacular English. That was something else that we learned. Which is also a bonix. It's <laughs> commonly known in of, as a bonics, but within the academic community of sociolinguistics degrees, <laughs> that's a thing. I learned that today too. You can get a degree in a bonics. A degree in a bonics. So, uh, what would that make you uh, valuable for exactly? I wonder. Um, Twitter culture, uh, marketing campaigns. You could be an assistant on a legal case. I you could the... be. 
I feel like your best bet would be working at like a 7-Eleven in Baltimore. I feel like that would be like the best use of well, a Well, don't bonus. make fun of Steve like that. That's not okay. <laughs> that's not making fun of Steve. I was making fun of Baltimore. That's that's his future career, man. Don't, don't hate him. <laughs> Yo, uh, another thing we, we ended up seeing um, beyond uh, <laughs> how ridiculous of a story that was was the fact that, um, and to really date this episode, uh, that we're going to now be pulling out of Syria, and we're going to be draw, uh, bringing down the amount of forces that we have in Afghanistan. Um, I can't help but notice everyone that are supposed to be, you know, so-called liberals, uh, quote-unquote. Are now defending this supposed illegal war, which I say supposed just to stay in the middle, but really... I agree that it's an illegal interaction with yeah. other nations. We are trying to insert a regime that's friendly to us mm. that will help us in the region, which, you know, altruistic means, but being altruistic doesn't make it illegal. I remember... Um, it doesn't make it not illegal. A little bit earlier uh, today, I was uh, when we were talking, um, I, I feared we were going to have some point of contention because uh, I was saying that it was an illegal war us being there is, is illegal and i was figuring that you were probably going to maybe disagree with me on that but the fact that you also agree because we're essentially there without um congressional approval for one it was pure executive power overreach at its finest mm -hmm. the commander-in-chief said it's my goddamn army i will do with it what i want hey listen here you goddamn <laughs> they're turning the freaking frogs game yeah, yeah. okay yeah and um, obviously the the absolute um, pits of, of, of hell that is Reddit politics. Um, if you've ever been on there, um, I went I went on there and I ended up seeing it. Uh, and all the comments were basically what you would expect. The negative of, of uh, Trump doesn't Trump. know what he's doing. He's going against every single advisor. One of the one of the top experience. one of the top comments was uh, great. Now thousands of Syrians are, are going to die, and as if they had it already. And and, and my thing or was that the most notably <laughs> our biggest force there in Syria is Marine artillery. Mm -hmm. It's not like they're not killing anyone. <laughs> what's the artillery? No. What, what's our it's hearts and minds right there at its finest? What, what got me was. These are the same people that, when we did that um, missile strike uh, for the chemical weapons, that happened about, what, a year and a half ago, when Assad launched chemical weapons, we ended up uh, shooting cruise missiles over and uh, destroying that whole area. And uh, there were lots of people that were completely up in arms about that, uh, mostly from the you know, liberal uh, side, more left-leaning side about how uh, I, I, I can't believe that we can just uh, unilaterally um, just attack this group for alleged use of chemical weapons. Alleged use. It, it, was, it was definitely confirmed. that They did, in fact, use chemical weapons. It was, and that was confirmed by the UN, mm -hmm. which is, like, as... That's mostly what they do now is bitch mm -hmm. and then investigate war crimes. Yeah. And my, my biggest... And, and again, the, the biggest issue I have is these are the same people that I, I, you know, we shouldn't be in Afghanistan. Iraq was a complete mistake. And any type of really, in, you know, interventionism, you know, they're very much doves when it comes to any type of uh, military action. Yet now that we want to pull out of Syria and we want to pull out of Afghanistan, um, or at least a massive drawdown in Afghanistan, uh, it's fairly, oh, now I can't hear myself at all. Well, you were talking so loud because you couldn't hear yourself. Like, when I took off my headphones, you were like, you're shouting. Oh, am I? Yeah. Well, I, I thought I was much lower than I was before. No. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter if I'm shouting if the equalization... Let me think. Maybe, maybe if I... Let me, let me do this. Maybe if I do this, it'll be a lot easier for me to, to get it. But, um... As I was saying, the same people that have issues with us going basically anywhere and doing anything are, are now, now complaining <laughs> that we're leaving Syria 
and we're leaving the Syrians to die. And my thing was, well, I think they're going to die no matter what. And I know it's a little bit, you know, pessimistic. A war is a war, regardless <laughs> of who's in it. A little pessimistic, but I, I don't think we should be involved in a civil war. <laughs> no, a civil war that has nothing to do with us, and neither side is good. I mean... The the um, Assad side is obviously totalitarian dictatorship, and the other side are basically Islamic. I won't say extremist, but very it's much what ISIS is fundamental what the coalition of ISIS. No, 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 I'm not even saying ISIS. I'm saying the anti-government forces. Oh. So you have one side that's like a dictatorship, and the other side that is essentially wanting a you know a theocracy or very much uh, Islamic style government. And then, so it's like both sides are, I I would say, yeah, antithetical to our values. So we want to be the winning side so that we have a say. We can say, hey, hey, buddy, you remember what we did for you? You're in power because of us. So you want to talk to your little Middle Eastern buddies and help us out? Hmm. I mean, I guess I I understand that it's for peace in the Middle East. <laughs> you can say that it's more like just for allies, really. Well, it is, and we do that under the flag of um, regional stability. That instead of peace in the Middle East, they like to say regional stability. Yeah, regional stability, basically just meaning um, there's no ISIS to then fly planes into our buildings. And Iran is not making nuclear bombs to attack Israel with. Mm, Yeah. And Israel is still hiding their nukes, which most people agree they do have nuclear capability, even though officially they don't. I was going to say, I I didn't know there was this agreement on that that's confirmed that they... But not by... Not like... Confirmed, confirmed. <laughs> it's confirmed in the way that like Joe Biden's gonna run in twenty twenty. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like all, all like pretty much assured it's going to happen. Yeah, that's what it is with Israel and nukes. Like it's not official, but everyone knows it. Okay. Um. And so yeah, I think we're both on the same same uh, mindset. Israel should uh, still be a thing. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I want to get. I want to stay on topic. Back to just. Uh, I want to just go over like the main points that because. Oh, yeah. This has like I, I I hate to I hate to try to say that like oh man this is an unprecedented week or something like that you know because it sounds very hyperbolic but um I I definitely would vouch to say this is one of the most uh, incredible weeks I've ever seen in politics I mean so a, a drawdown a, a we're leaving supposedly we're, leaving two different we're supposed countries. to be supposedly leaving Syria. And drawing down and maybe fully leaving Afghanistan. For the first time in 17, 17 18 years. going on 18 years. Then at the same time, um, criminal, uh, just, uh, criminal justice reform or was it prison reform? Uh, it's criminal justice reform and they're essentially the same thing. Okay. But that's, I don't, I'm not optimistic about it. About the criminal justice reform? No. I think it's just going to be another feel good measure. They're going to change a couple of things. But, you know, they're, the system is broken. One new thing isn't going to fix all a, a system that's been in place for 80-something years. Mm-hmm. You're, n- you're not going to fix that in one political, one four-year term at all. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I don't think it would, it would be a change necessarily in, in one term, but the fact that we're starting the process that because we've been talking it, about good. criminal justice reform for decades, right? Yes. Before I was born, before you were born, and now all of a sudden it just happened. Like there was actual legis- bipartisan legislation. Which, it, to, as sad as it is, makes me even more skeptical about it. It like, feels I, like it's lip service. I, I haven't read anything on it. Um, so I'm ignorant, so I don't want to discuss this too much, but the fact that there was criminal justice reform legislation that had bipartisan support that went through, and the fact that almost no one, no one... Not even Rand Paul. Like, was talking about it, blew my mind. And the fact that, you know, where all this came from originally, where, uh, this started, uh, it started with Kim Kardashian, uh, talking to President Trump about this. Because, and the only reason she could talk to him about it... Was because of Ye. Because of Kanye. You're right. It's amazing. Use his proper 
Yeah. Yeah. Name. Uh, Yan, yeah, Yande. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Did he change it again? No. I no, thought no, it was no. Yay. Well, his name's always been Kanye, and he just shortens it to Yay, yeah. Um, what was another big one that... The heard? Farm Bill. They finally got the Farm Bill The passed. six... What was it? It was like $500, $600 billion over the course of like 10 years, something like that. And with this... Hemp cultivation is now federally legal. Oh, yeah, now hemp is legal. Federally that was right. That's federal. crazy. So it's still up to the states. Yeah. But that's huge. That's going to help the economy in so many different ways. We're going to see a boom from that along because now we have alternate paper sources. We have alternate clothing sources, mm-hmm. which hemp clothing is infinitely more clean than cotton. Cotton is one of the biggest agricultural pollutants there fucking is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I have no crazy. idea. And it's an alternative fuel source. Mm. They found out long, long ago that you can, there's a process where you can make fuel with it. Hmm, interesting. I know, right? And it does tighten the rules for SNAP, food stamps, mm-hmm. supplemental nutrition assistance program, food stamps. Everyone knows what the fuck food stamps is, <laughs> even though they haven't been physical stamps in decades. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was it? And then the other big one, uh, that really, I am, I was probably the most disappointed in, but I understand, was Secretary of Defense stepping down. Rest in peace. Rest in pepperonis to you, Mr. Mattis. He's going, well, it just opens the door for the next Secretary of Defense, Mim Jadis. Is, is... <laughs> Yeah? You see what I did there? <laughs> yeah, Put a little yeah. sneaky on you. Uh-huh. Um, I am disappointed to see him leave, but then again, I I, you know, I don't want us in these countries. Like, I understand the whole, you know, we fight them there so we don't have to fight them here um, aspect of it. You know, because if we drone the guys in Iraq, we don't have to deal with, suicide bombers in like Tampa or something like that. Right. And, 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 and I get that mentality, but at the same time, how, how, how long can we stay somewhere before we just go, you know what? It's not worth it. We're creating more problems than we had. Like we've been in this war current in Afghanistan long enough. Kids that weren't even born. I was just not to make that comment. Are now fighting us. Cause all they've grown up with is, wow, what is this? What are these white people doing here? I can't understand them. They're rude. They're mean. They're scary. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I... And and Syria, I don't care about Syria either. I don't care. Um, I I, I honestly don't. Most of the argument that I've heard from our peers... I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The intellectuals. Yeah, the the Marine Corps. The proletariat. Uh Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is well, we have to take the fight to them. Yeah, that's we basically have, what I was saying. Yeah, but there's a, just a less elegant manner. Like if we don't fight them there, we'll fight them here mm-hmm. without an understanding of well. Sometimes when you take the fight to them, you're creating more enemies. Yeah, it, it, you know it's crazy what happens when you drone a guy's wife and. You know, child, what yeah, that there, does there, to when him. When there's no hearts and minds to it. In Syria, yeah. we have no on the ground forces. We're just like, okay, okay, this dude over here, he seems pretty legit. He's telling us we should shell the fuck out of this area. Mm. And we're just like, uh, okay. And I, and I think one of the biggest issues I also have is at least in like post World War II Europe. These countries that fell to authoritarian regimes Reconstruction. wanted wanted a democratic, you know, Republican style, and not Republican as in like I, our Republican, but like representative type of government. In like Iraq, in Syria, and Afghanistan, I I seriously doubt the average Iraqi, the average Syrian really care like especially afghanistan like you really think anyone there actually cares well, that's where you have their ancient ways of life the pastoralani and all that cultural bullshit not bullshit but you know cultural things that go into that and why they've successfully repealed every type of invader dating back to fucking macedonia mm. 
Alexander the Great couldn't fucking conquer them. Yeah. He gave up. So it's like, who are we? <laughs> We're better than him. Are we, though? Yeah, I think we are. Are we? Yeah, yeah. We're not mad enough to march an army of elephants over a goddamn mountain <laughs> onto an unsuspecting populace. I mean, who expects an army of elephants? No one expects the, the Spanish, Spanish Inquisition, Inquisition, from what I've heard. Um, nor do they expect uh, elephants. So. What is the Spanish Inquisition? What is... You know, who is this 4chan... Um, yeah, Kekistan yeah. will rise. Kekistan will rise. All hail Pepe. Oh, oh don't forget. White power. Oh, uh, we just got demonetized from our zero dollars and zero cents. Oh no. <laughs> don't let's go check our Patreon. Oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> they got that too. Not the Navy. <laughs> it's a sad, sad time. Holy fuck. Well, that concludes today's episode, folks. Hello. In the meantime, hey, what's while up? Tyler is distracted, I'm going to whisper a little something. I mean, yeah, if you want to bring something. I'm trying down his volume to where he can't even fucking hear me. He has no idea what I'm saying. Uh, okay. It's probably about how much of a fucking kike he is. Uh, Ber- Look at that fucking Bourbon giant and uh, Jaeger. You can get whatever you want, man. He's a person. He's wiggling his way into the American infrastructure to bring, awesome. okay. to bring the rest of the Jews to power. Alright, I'll see you then. Oh god, I gotta go. Yeah, so... I don't know what you just said, but... Uh, that was the point. Okay, that's good. That's good. Well, yeah, we're at 23 minutes. Um, I like to do 30-minute episodes, but... Again, this is only, like, pre-episode. Cue the Benny Hill music. Um, yeah. Do, do, do. Or, I don't know. How do they even go? I don't know. I forgot. No, that's the juggling. Uh, um, I know the Benny Hill stuff. theme when I... Uh, 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 it's hard to mimic. Yeah, because I, I know the sound, but I can't, like, think of it off the top of my head. I know the word. I just don't know the fucking word. Okay. Well... Word is the word. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this, and hopefully, uh, it works out well when I go, uh, to mix it. Um, I can't... production as the professionals would say. Yep. And hopefully, uh, it's, you know, the same as when I did before. Everything stays the same, but everything's different. I mean, I was a little rusty the first couple same, days. Same, same, but different. Different. Got it. But still same. Okay. That's good. Um, so anyway, um, Tyler, uh, that's Robert over there. Uh, tar and feathered. Um, hopefully that first episode is going to be coming out here pretty soon. Hopefully. But the real question is, people are going to get confused when they see the title, and they're going to think our names might be Tar and Feathered. So, so I'm Tar. No, that's what, Feathered. What? Um, I'm definitely the bigger asshole. I think uh, I should be the Tar. <laughs> You're always yelling at me in the car, like, will you calm down? Like, when I made that comment about aborting that About aborting boy, that kid? Yeah. <laughs> it's never too late. You're 17 years old, not too late. <laughs> it's how many trimesters is he? Like, 84 trimesters? Hey, hey, there's people out there. Ninth trimester, perfectly okay. We're just taking it a step forward. That remind me of this. But isn't that murder? No, no. That one porno comment was like, you know, abortion's a very divisive topic for me because on one hand, I don't like I like the idea of killing babies, but on the other hand, I don't like the idea of giving women the right to choose anything. Oh, <laughs> oh. Alright, anyway, um Yeah, so hopefully the first episode can come out soon and I hope everyone uh will uh you know be there for it, all like two people uh to watch it. And and this is the point where I would give a guitar outro, but I was told to put away my guitar. So imagine it. <laughs> Thank you. Good night.